Hey everybody, this is your girl Tiffany coming to you with a video review. And this review is going to be a two-in-one review because I'm going to be talking about two different things in the in the video instead of doing two short separate videos. So in this review, I'm going to be talking about the Kat Von D Lock Your Tattoo Foundation and the Shani Cosmetics seven piece layer, seven layers, all in one makeup set. The masterpiece. Anyway, it looks like this. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I'm wearing that right now. And as you can see, I've had it on about six, maybe five hours now. And I did set it with a powder. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kat Von D is the tattoo artist or something like that that um one of the stars what is her name i forgot whatever somebody's husband sandra bullock my girl i don't know i didn't think her name but yeah sandra bullock's husband cheated on her with this girl unfortunately but yeah that's what everybody knows her from so that's the only thing that i could kind of reference back to sorry Sandra but um yeah so that's her this is her foundation she has a whole line like eyeshadows primers and stuff like that I think um it's sold at Sephora and but the only thing I picked up was the foundation because it was the only thing I was interested in for those of you who know me um I love to try out new foundations and things like that um I've had this foundation for a while and I've been using it for a while and I purposely did that because I wanted to really test it out and really let you guys know how I like it so after using it for a while um, I do like it at first I wasn't in love with it I'm not gonna lie because this I believe this is the darkest shade or next to the darkest shade that they have and yeah I think this is the darkest shade. this is D72 and I like the consistency of it this is a full completely full coverage foundation it has I love love the packaging that's the number one thing I love the packaging the packaging is awesome um, I love that you can actually see the product in the bottle it's just very cute I love the pump like it's just cute it's like all girly cute um, I love the little cap it comes with a little cap for the oh, I cannot lose that it comes with a little cap for the pump so you can just close this up right here so your cap or your pump doesn't get like stuck and you can't get the um, products out of the pump um, so I do like that also and also what I like about this foundation is that I can literally cover my entire face with one pump of this foundation um, I used today the brush that I used was the elf um, powder brush and mine is one of the little short ones it looks like this I got this from Target and um, it's like the regular size the regular size price the three bucks but it's the little short one and I'll show you in comparison this is the regular size and then this is the little short one now I don't know if they're gonna just start making all of these this all of them this size I hope not but I have a lot of these anyway so either way but I do think this is neat to like carry around in my purse and stuff so I picked it up so anyway that's what I use to apply it I literally use one pump on the brush and then I just buffed it into my skin and it got this coverage that you see here only thing I did was I set it with the Iman second to none semi semi loose powder in earth dark and I just lightly I barely graded anything in here I just tapped my big kabuki brush and I just dusted it over my skin because and you really don't have to do that because this foundation sets matte. Um, but um, I do it because this foundation, when you first put it on, is really, really red. And I really, I personally, I don't like foundations that make me look brick red. Like, just because I'm dark skinned don't mean that I look red. Like, But anyway, I do like the foundation. I like the formulation of it. It's thick like a concealer because for those of you who know this is actually a foundation that you would use to cover tattoos so I'll pump out a little bit and a little bit literally goes a long way and I'll put it on my hand here and as you can see just on my hand you can see the red undertones in it it's like orangey red but once it 
like blends into your skin like it oxidizes it's not as red as it comes off at first and especially it's if you use a little bit like literally one pump then it doesn't come off as red as it looks but if you use a lot of it you'll look cake face one and then two your face will be super super red so I would say if you don't want a cake face and you don't want to look brick red then use only one pump of this because literally one pump I did all over my face and I don't you don't see any marks on my skin any blemishes any anything so this is definitely a really good foundation for full coverage and people that need full coverage um, I don't have any tattoos that I would have to cover I don't have that many so I haven't tested it for that but um for just foundation wise I really like it now oil control I wouldn't say that this is really good for oil control compared to other foundations that I have that are really good for oil control so I can't say that I'm not in love with it because of that I'm in love with this because of the coverage of it that's it um, they did that like I said they do claim that this is um, transfer resistant it is fragrance free I'll give them that um, full coverage, yes. 24 hour wear. I've never worn my foundation foundation for 24 hours, so I really can't say that. But I have worn it for over like 14 hours, and it really did last a long time for me. So I will say that it's good for that. Transfer resistance. Haven't really tried that out yet. I really can't say that um, because when I wear this, I always put powder on top of it because of the brick red finish that it does at first. Um, matte finish it is a matte finish it is oil free I will agree with those but the best thing that I love about this is the packaging I'm childish but yeah I do love the packaging in this um, so but if you're looking for a foundation that's full coverage you like the full coverage look this is a definitely go to um, especially if you are lighter skin tone they like cater more to lighter skin um, tones than they do darker skin Kat Von D for real dark skin come on get more shades because this is not the only shade that we come in so yeah um other than that if you're darker than me don't do it i'm just don't really but um anything like me and f like lighter you're good especially lighter you're really good because it won't have that red look or whatever but like i said if you like the red look then this is this is for you but set it with a powder and it won't look because my face doesn't look red or anything like that so and I just set it lightly with a powder and once it oxidizes it doesn't look so bad so I'm rambling but yeah that is a must and the price for that is $34 at Sephora which compared to a lot of other foundations that is pretty good because it's around the price of like max foundation and max highest foundation is $34 which is match master match master so the next thing I'm going to talk about is my, oh, it gives me chills, I love this, the Shani Cosmetics Masterpiece Collection. I love this, this is my holy grail, I want two of them, and I really don't need two of them, but I just want to say that I want two of them just because I want two, just because I can have two. But anyway, I love this. I ordered mine off of, I did not order from Shani Cosmetics directly website. Um, I ordered mine off of eBay. On Shani Cosmetics website, this is, I think, $75. I got mine on eBay for $50. And as you can see, it is the exact same thing. Um, and they do have other little sets. And I will actually, I'll throw in, oops. I'll throw in another product that I purchased at the same time with this one too to do a review once I finish talking about this. Um, so I kept all the little layers in the box because I think it's just neat and it's easy to just grab and go. So it has the little flaps like this. I'm sure you guys have seen reviews of this all over YouTube, but I haven't done one. And for my subscribers, I am going to do one. So sorry. If you've seen a million of them, then feel free to click off but yeah so it looks like this on the inside and I hope I don't tear my little ribbon it has a little ribbon like thing right here but the um, little flaps is have the seven seven layers and they have each have little flaps as you can see to pull each layer out of its um, place this here is just my doing because where I have it 
sitting is like above my chair so instead of having to take it down every time I want to pull one of the layers out I put nail polish to let me know what eyeshadow palettes are which so like the first one is my blues and greens the second one is my neutral colors it's like a neutral tone beige as you can see right here and then this one is my reds and pinks and this one is like my purples here and then the rest of these I'll show you what they are so that was just for my doing it doesn't come like that so they all look like this this is the blues and greens of course and they have like the little plastic flaps to cover each um, layer so that you won't scratch them as you're pulling them out I started to take each of these flaps off but I chose not to and I'm glad that I didn't because when I take these out, sometimes because of my nails being so long in the stiletto style, sometimes when I pull them out, I tend to nick the eyeshadow here. So, the, But the plastic is preventing me from doing that. So I will definitely leave the plastic on. So if you are like me, like me have the long nails or stiletto nails or whatever, definitely keep your plastic flaps. So anyway, this is the first layer. And it has, what is this, 28 eyeshadows in each layer so this is the blues and greens and they are highly highly pigmented I love these these are my go-to they there are also a lot of Mac dupes in this in this palette just overall um, like this one right here is like a dupe for fresh water and it looks like this and honestly I think it's more pigmented than fresh water I love Fresh Water by MAC, but it is actually more pigmented. Um, that's just like literally one swatch. And then I'll show you, this is another one of my favorite eyeshadows that I always pull for when I'm doing a really quick neutral look, and that's this color right here. And that's what that looks like. And I'll swatch this like lime green color here. The pigmentation on these are just amazing. I love them. And it's a mixture of like shimmers, mattes in here so it's not just all one and I'll swatch this like evergreen color here that's not a good swatch I could I can't get my finger in there because of my nail but yeah that's the swatch of the evergreen and let me clean my hands and I'll move on to the next palette so the next one is going to be another one of my faves and it is the neutral palette and that one looks like this and I'll swatch this cranberry color here and that looks like this and I'll swatch this orange this is like an orange as you can see the camera is not doing this justice because they are way brighter like these palettes are gorgeous and here is like the gold color that's in it so the pigmentation is awesome in this palette. And then the next layer is the reds and pinks. So of course I'm going to swatch, and that's what this palette looks like. So of course I'm going to swatch the red first. That's what the red looks like. And here is the purple that's in that palette gorgeous right and then of course let's do this yellow gorgeous I love this palette um yeah that's all I want to swatch from this one so yeah this your reds pinks and yellows and then my favorite the purple this is what the purple looks like this is my fave, fave, fave. I love because it has all the different shades of purples. Has your neutral tone. This is like the fall palette right here. So I'll swatch this magenta color here. And that's what that looks like. And then there's like a smoke purple color in it also. And there's like a chocolate in this one. Love. And then there's like a blue tone purple. I need a finger. It's like a blue tone purplish color that is gorgeous and that is this color right here 
gorgeous right so then so we just saw four palettes of 28 eyeshadows and it's not done yet right so the next one is the lip palette look how awesome that looks and these are very pigmented you guys and I'll grab my lip brush to swatch. I'll just swatch one of these. I don't like to dip my finger in these. Because I personally, I use them, but I use them mainly like when I do somebody else's makeup. Because I don't I don't like to use these on myself because I can't take this with me. So, like, what do I look like carrying this around my purse? So, yeah. But anyway, I will use this on my clients, so I don't want to dig my finger in it. But I'll just use my little lip brush. And this is one of the ones that I have used on myself. So, I'll just swatch that one. And hopefully you can see it on my hand because it is kind of a chocolate color. I thought these were like sheer lip glosses. See, no, that's too nude. I got to show y'all a brighter color because it's not doing it justice. I thought these were like sheer just lip glosses, like lip tints and stuff like that. But it's really not. These are really lipsticks. They're just like um, gloss lipsticks. They're rare, like creams no mattes um i'll do this really pretty color right here i like this one i put this on one of my clients a while ago so i'll swatch into that one it's like a iridescent pinkish kind of similar to like girl about town and that's the color on here so you can see that it is very pigmented they are not just lip glosses they are lipsticks so this is a definite must have for people who do like other people's makeup like if you're an expiring artist if you're just starting out doing your own makeup this is the perfect gift for somebody because you have tons of different lipsticks to play with and then um some of them are not as opaque as others but the majority of the deeper tone colors i think I'm not, i can't even say that majority of the colors in here are very pigmented like here's another one that i haven't used I'll swatch into that one. And there you go. And that's just one swatch. So that was like a lilac y purple kind of color. And this one it looks similar to Up the Amp in person. I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice. And there's that chocolatey color at the top there. So these are very, very, very pigmented. They're not. And I'm just cleaning my lip brush off. I don't want to swatch any more of these. Um, these are not um, lip glosses. They're very creamy lipsticks. So these are the bomb. So the next palette is going to be your foundation slash concealer palette. So you can definitely use these as all over foundations for if you have... Um, someone of the skin tone that are in, that are in here then they also have like color correctors at the bottom um, but like I said you can also use them as concealers and this is what you get here and these are very creamy um, very opaque um, I would I would compare these to the Ruby Kisses um, 3D face creator palettes the, that's how creamy and how much coverage you get from them and I have used this on myself like this one I have used this on myself so I'll swatch that one so that's one and then which one I've used this one on myself so that's another color so these are very very creamy concealers as you can see they are very opaque like like pigmented you get a lot of coverage from them and they last a while and then as you can see my lipsticks are still popping on my hand but yeah so i really like this one it's like the perf it's just it's the bomb so and you could definitely use these as light coverage foundations and just set it with a nice powder and it looks really good so then the last layer is another one of my personal favorites and that is the blush palette and the blush palette honestly looking at how much is in the other palettes uh, of the other layers I think that they could have 
put more blushes in here but I do like the size of these blushes there but there are only six of them so if I was using this for my clients which I don't use this one um I have a blush palette that I use for them but I use this for myself but if I was using this for clients I would definitely need more blushes than just these six it's a nice to start though but um for someone using it for their personal use then it's perfect so this is fine but um I do like these I was thinking that they were because usually when um, you buy palettes like this blush palettes they don't cater towards deeper skin tones and I was expecting to not be able to use these these blushes because of what I just stated before but when I got them I was like wow I can actually use all of these and I have and they look really good especially my my favorite ones are the last four like this one this bright orange it, it, the camera's not doing that justice either it, this is actually like a shimmery orange this one kind of looks similar to Bordeaux by La Femme and these are this is like a peachy tone blush and then actually I like all of them I just can't even just say it's these four but I love all of them they are very pigmented and I'll swatch this one and then I'll swatch the orange so they are very pigmented so they are going to look gorgeous on deeper skin tones so this palette if you are getting this for personal use this if you're in your my skin tone you will be able to use basically everything in this palette so it like the blushes won't be a waste and if you're deeper skin tone, you know what I mean but when I say that because like I said a lot of blush palettes don't cater towards deeper skin tones but um yeah so this is a good buy and like I said I've had this for a while um, and I wanted to really use it before I did a review on it to let you guys know how I loved it. Um, the eyeshadows in here are awesome. I just love this palette. I love it. And like I said, there are a lot of dupes for other things in this palette. And it's really heavy. So the other thing that I ordered with this that I wanted to talk about was the Shani Cosmetics Eyeliner Gel. And it's a pack of 12 and it looks like this. And I also ordered this from eBay. And I was expecting for this to be completely not pigmented, really creamy, very like movable eyeliners that aren't worth anything. But I took a chance because it was only it was only like 15 bucks, I think, if that. Yeah, I think it, it was it was under twenty dollars, so it was way under twenty dollars. And I took a chance, and I'm glad that I did because these eyeliners are amazing, just amazing. Um, they look like this. Look at all these fun colors. They don't have names; they just have numbers. It's one to twelve, and look at this. The packaging looks similar. It looks exactly like not even similar. Similar it looks exactly like the Elf cream eyeliners that they have um and it comes with a little cap so that they won't dry out i always have trouble getting these off of here with my nails so i always have to use my tweezers and that this color is the first one it's zero one it looks like this i don't use these on my clients these are all for my personal use because i love eyeliner so i love this one and this eyeliner these are good for bases these are very creamy they do not when they set they don't they don't move they don't go anywhere this is like the must i've put them under my water under my um eye and they don't end up down on my cheek i've put them over on my lid they don't end up on my brow these if you love eyeliner like i do if you like to do just plain eyeshadow like or just plain neutral looks and then do like a pop of eyeliner at the at the bottom or at the top just to you know play with eyeliner like i do on my no normal days then you will love this because that is my go-to look that's like my signature look when i'm not going to work or whatever i'm just running errands i'll just do foundation no eyeshadow i'll just put like powder um on my eyes and then i'll put like blue eyeliner on and some lip gloss and go so because of that a bunch of different eyeliners are always a must for me
because like I said, that's my signature look. Like it's nothing to see me with black wings, top eyeliner, and blue eyeliner at the bottom with gloss. So yeah, and I'll show you the colors. This, and like I said, these don't have names. They just have the numbers. And this is two. And that's what it looks like. These are gorgeous. And what you see in the jar is what comes out. Because like, like when you're putting it on at first, and I'll swatch one. I guess I can go into it. So I'll just use this little brush and I'll swatch. Okay, let's do three. So three looks like this. And this one is more turquoise than like than like the two one that that one is more blue. This one is more turquoise. And I'll dip into this one. So when you're putting it on, it doesn't it looks like it's not pigmented. It looks like it's not the color that you are looking for. So that's what it looks like, very creamy like I said. So that is not even doing it justice because I just put a whole lot on there. But when you're putting it on your face, it doesn't come out as pigmented as you would want. So, but once it sets, once it dries, it literally does not smudge. It doesn't move. It is just there. So for the price that these are, these eyeliners, these y'all for real get up on these and when I was researching these I only saw like one or two videos or one or two yeah one or two literally one or two videos about these eyeliners and I don't know why because people probably assume that they're like cheap and worth nothing but these eyeliners are amazing so the next one is four and this looks like this the next one is five Trying to go through these quickly because my video is kind of long so the next one is six and this is one of my faves i love this one navy blue for some reason i am obsessed with any color blue and any color purple eyeliner and then this one is like a grayish it's just a different color eyeliner it's just different i will say that it's like nothing i've ever owned before and then this is what the front of the container looks like and that was seven I'm sorry and then eight is black now about the black I do love the black but I love it's a good eye, uh, black eyeliner it's very pigmented it doesn't smudge but I prefer my Ruby Kisses um, gel eyeliner over that one but I do like that one and then this one is nine it looks kind of yellow in the camera but it's actually an orange And then this one is 10, and it's a, like a smoke gray. And then 11 is like a lilac -y purple, like a lavender instead of the bright purple like the first one. And then the last one is 12. And this is like an evergreen instead of like a sea green, yellowish green. So these are good eBay, eBay finds, definitely. And if you can't find them on eBay, you can go to Shiny Cosmetics website, and they are there. This costs more on Shiny Cosmetics. I can't remember exactly how much offhand, but like I said, try to get yours from either Amazon or eBay. At eBay, they are cheaper. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thanks for watching. If you want to know what I have on my face, I'll try to post it down below. So just um, check that out in the comments down below. Oh, and I actually want to show you what I have on my eyes. Give me one second. I found these cute little um, glitter, cream glitter eyeshadows by Wet n Wild that are new. And they're only a dollar. And this is the one that I have. This one is called Brass. And all I did was, I did my normal look with no eyeshadow, just powder on my eye. And then I took the um, glitter applicator by e.l.f. 
and I dipped it into this and put it on my eyelid and that's it. I have on no eyeliner at the top. I have blue eyeliner at the bottom that's kind of rubbed off a little bit. but And then on my lips, I have Mason by NYX and that's one of the matte lipsticks. And that's it. Only thing different, nothing really special. So, you guys, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned.